determine if the following series is convergent or divergent using the p-series test. We have the summation from n equals one to infinity of three divided by the cube root of n squared. To apply the p-series test, if we want our series to be in this form here, once it's in this form, if p is greater than one, then the series converges, and if p is less than or equal to one, then the series diverges. So let's begin by factoring out the three and write this as three times the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by, and we want to write the cube root of n squared using a rational exponent, so this would be n raised to the power of two thirds. Notice that the index is the denominator and the exponent is the numerator given by this rule here. In this form, notice how p, the exponent, is equal to two thirds, and two thirds is less than or equal to one, and therefore the series diverges. So if this infinite series diverges, three times a divergent series is also divergent. And therefore the original series is divergent by the p-series test with p equals two-thirds, which is less than or equal to one. Next, we're asked to find the partial sum s sub three. So s sub three would be equal to the summation from n equals one to three of three divided by the cube root of n squared. So we'd have three divided by the cube root of one squared plus three divided by the cube root of two squared. And then finally, plus three divided by the cube root of three squared. Now if you only need a decimal approximation, we can go to the calculator now, but I'm going to show how to find this sum as well as rationalize the denominator. This will allow us to find the exact partial sum. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. Well for this first fraction, notice how one squared is just one and the cube root of one is one, so this would simplify to three, plus I'm going to write this second fraction as three divided by the cube root of two times two because we are going to rationalize this denominator, plus three divided by the cube root of three times three. Now looking at these denominators, notice how to simplify perfectly, we would want three equal factors, not just two. So to rationalize the denominator here, we'll multiply by the cube root of two over the cube root of two. Notice now the denominator is going to simplify perfectly because we'll have the cube root of two cubed. And for this fraction, we'll multiply by the cube root of three over the cube root of three. So now we'd have three plus, this would be three times the cube root of two divided by the cube root of two cubed, which is two, plus here we'd have three times the cube root of three divided by the cube root of three cubed is just three. Notice how for this fraction, three over three simplifies to one. So let's go ahead and leave this as three plus, let's write the cube root of three next, and then plus this would be three halves times the cube root of two. We can write this in a variety of forms, but at least we have the exact partial sum. So going back to the previous slide, let's just rewrite this. We have three plus the cube root of three plus three halves times the cube root of two. I hope you found this helpful.